Remember the beginning of the year when I said my word this year was simplify? Out the window. Didn't happen. Still working on the stove. The bees were coming in, you know, ordering season. So Justin made me the most beautiful bee furniture. Uh, we got two hives. Um, and he made me these stands, which I'm going to go right now to the farmhouse to get some stain. I want to stain them before they go out where in the bee area. I'm in love. They're just so beautiful. And then he made me a work table to go with them so I could hang implements or whatever I need to and have a, a spot to put things. I'm so spoiled. <laughs> I just think it's gorgeous. But Simplify isn't happening because if you notice right back here, there is um, chicken wire. So we need to use some of it under the berry patch fence. And we used to use most of it for the, um, I think this is dedicated to the rabbit hutches. I'm not quite sure where the guys are using it. I know it's not on the bottom because we have hard wire. And to be honest with you, I couldn't keep up with all the projects. So that's them. And I'll just come by and be big chief and say, yes, no, <laughs> or whatever I'm supposed to do once I look at it. But it has just been a plethora of stuff. Still have to get the fencing up to get the sheep in. They're coming soon. This is donkey repeat on steroids. Remember guys when I got the donkeys and then we put up the crowd 24 hours before they got here? We're there again. I don't know how it happens. But we've got Big Red to help us now. And Big Red is going to help us in the bee area. Uh, leveling the area out. We're going to put down a layer of diatomaceous earth. Then we're going to put down crusher rock. And I think we're going to probably have a little ceremony for my dad. We never had any ceremony because right when he passed, we were in the process of moving here. Then mom wanted to come, so we got mom out here and we had decided he was a lover of bees. He taught me about bees. I'll put my hand out, they'll land. I don't have a con concern about them pinching me. Um, so we thought we'd put him to rest with the bees. So we're gonna have a little ceremony after that's all done. That's why I'm rushing to get all of this finished. I'd like to, to finally have him be where he needs to be. And mom will be able to see him from her front room or front deck every single day. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, lots of buzzing activity here. Need to also get in and do some more masks. So it's it's been, it's been busy. <laughs> to say the least. I hope all of you are keeping busy too. Let's see what's coming next. We've started grading the area here. Justin's on Big Red, our tractor, getting the spot opened up where we're putting the bees. This is a great spot for them to face southeast. Um, we, I've read opinions all over the board from they should be 50 feet apart to uh, some people do a semicircle one foot apart. It's no big deal. I, I don't want 50 feet apart. I'm definitely a permaculture fan, have everything in a zone. Less footsteps, the better, and goodness knows we have a lot of footsteps here. So I'm putting them two feet apart, each opening cocked a little bit differently, but still facing southeast. And on one of the hives, a person said that they know their, they learn their hive by location. So I'm putting a little rock. They said a twig, but we have wind. So I'm gonna put a little rock on one of the openings and then they'll know, oh, this is, this is our rock. This is the, the beehive that belongs to us. Then that way I can put the work table um, situated in here between the two hives that when I need to take out frames or work on something, I have my table because 50 feet apart was putting me way over in here. No, <laughs> no, not gonna do that. So this will be a little bit more flattened down. I'm gonna throw down some diatomaceous earth. I'm gonna put down um, some crusher rock. You can see Justin's on Big Red right now. We're both learning it. We get to share the new toy. Um, so he's gonna bring crusher rock over here eventually. I think he's bringing it over here right now just to get the work done. And we have, uh, there's a method to my madness. The, the berry patch is right here. So I thought having the bees here was a pretty good idea. They like black locusts. We have black locusts. There's a lot of other pollinator, uh, pollinating trees and things. You can see our red buds have, are almost gone. It's so sad. There's such a short time on red buds. So there's the beginnings of that. Let's uh, continue on and, and get our bees established today. The paint's drying on the hives. Timing's everything. As you can see, the setup is in. That white stuff is diatomaceous earth to keep little crawly things from crawling up or at least giving the bees a chance that the crawly things crawl through the diatomaceous earth and aren't able to crawl up. So I'm gonna go check on the hives 
and see if they are dry yet because I would like to get these guys in sooner than later. Having a tough time finding my apiary outfit in the storage uh, <laughs> known as the farmhouse. Hopefully we can find that. We're gonna give it about another hour search. If not, it'll just be long sleeves uh, to get these guys in. I read if you sprinkle a little water on them, it dampens their leaves, they, leaves their wings. They can't fly and that would be probably our, our alternative to uh, having a suit. So gotta do what you gotta do.